I'm so good, I surprised myself. Halo guys, balik lagi bareng Simon Gaming di sini. Kali ini aku bakal ngereak salah satu uh, video yang rilis di hari ini yaitu adalah Project L ya. Project L kemarin kita bahas dikit di sebelumnya uh, itu ya rilisnya Hashtag Mayhem ya. Si Riot ini bakal ngeluarin game fighting gitu, fighting game yang di sini akhirnya kita bisa ngelihat uh, gimana ya? Ngelihat sedikit lah ya uh, dari Riot sendiri uh, fighting game-nya bakal kayak ba gimana gitu. Di sini di dikasih nama uh, The Right Foundation gitu ya. Arkane Epilog gitu. Jadi ini uh, mungkin kita bakal semoga sih bakal lihat game-game uh, project yang lainnya yang dikerjain Riot Games bakal di di leak mungkin ataupun dikasih tahu ke kita ya. Semoga aja sih, tapi ini udah bagus banget karena kita bisa ya ngebangun hype sih menurutku uh, untuk game satu ini ya uh, dan kuncup banget untuk rakyat kamu. Oke, kita langsung aja lihat videonya kayak gimana gitu. Hey everyone, I'm Tom, executive producer at Project L. Okay. And I'm Project 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 L's technical lead. Last time we talked, I let you in on the secret that we're building a fighting game here at Riot. Wah. We showed you a brief glimpse of gameplay. Wah, hari dengan Garen ya. But we share more when we're ready. Well, a lot's changed since then. We made some great progress, and while the game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit oh, since we've early development. Masih, so I want to bring up to speed on what we've been working on. From the beginning, we knew that we wanted to make a 2D <laughs> fighting sama -sama in the ya. universe of Runeterra, but the 2D fighting space is pretty broad. Oh, Even Ari, from that starting Ari. point, there are a ton of different directions we could take the game. Dan After lots of exploration, ya we're excited ya to kan? say that we've landed on a direction that we're pretty pumped about. In this quick update, we'll walk you through our high-level approach when it comes to core gameplay, character design, and netcode. Hmm. But first, I'll let you reintroduce design. Project L. Uh, Echo ya, sama Jinx. Pas banget kayak kemarin ya. Di Arken. Uh. Oh, oh, ada ada itu nih ada temennya berarti ya bisa manggil temen berarti ini. Atau bisa ganti orang gitu ya. You'll build and pilot a team of two different champs. We feel like this is the right foundation to build a game that rewards strategic team building and on the fly decision making oh, on top of strong fighting fundamentals. Our yeah, goal is to build a game that delivers a fast-paced, dynamic combat fantasy while leaving plenty of room for you to be creative and express yourself in gameplay. Like a lot of you out there, we're inspired by the insane outplays, hard reads, and 200 IQ plays behind some of the most iconic moments in fighting game history. Oh, ah, the combo, yeah, lo lo. The game that allows you to create new iconic moments for many years to come. Now let's talk about controls. I know that a lot of you have strong opinions about the mechanics of the game. Oh, that is the approach. For Project L, we're embracing the easy to learn, hard to master mentality. So yes, we are making it easier to jump in with a new character and learn their Mitra pieces. Ini sering sih berarti ya. Jarak. That said, we nah. absolutely believe in rewarding the time you spend going deep on a character, and providing opportunities for you to showcase your high-end mastery. Waduh. One of the delights of fighting games is seeing top players move and fight Anjir, in a way that's inspiring dari. and distinct from lesser skilled players. We want to set that aspirational summit and build a steadily increasing difficulty curve to get you there. This isn't about hmm. building a game where new players have a chance to be the pros. It's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. Character design, of course, plays a huge role in this. Oh, the characters are known for, but adapted to work with a fighting game. We want our champs to have powerful, flexible kits that give you the freedom to play your character your way. As an example, I'm thrilled to introduce you to Echo, re-envisioned for Project L. Echo is a punk oh, genius. Echo, ne? He's a brilliant inventor who, through time manipulation, can rewind his own mistakes and stay one step ahead of his opponent. The centerpiece of Echo's kit is his Chrono Strike. Gila sih bisa gabungin dengan a pretty good skillnya ya. Combo under. When Echo slashes with Chrono Strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time in the next few seconds. Bisa balik gitu. <laughs> you can use the rewind to double down on your first slash, or make a different choice, and branch into a high committal launcher. <laughs> Echo works just fine as a mid-range zoner, but he really comes oh, online Echo, when you take full advantage of the rewind ability. He can vary the timing of the rewind to mix up his opponent, recover for assist attacks made by his teammates. 
and then the right hands, rewind can also be a strong combo extender. And then there's Time Winder, Echo's Time Grenade. Oh, the Time Grenade. Yeah. Time Winder works great for basic zoning and combos. The real payoff comes when you're able to throw Time Winder from range, giving it a chance to charge up and explode into a time distortion field that slows Echo's opponents for the next few seconds of the match. For both of these moves, our approach is to give you a tool with a clear primary role but with lots of potential for extra utility when you use it. Oh, oh, situation. bisa dipukul gitu juga lah. Now, kalau tadi kan kalau dilemparin lambat gitu kan kayak. High quality net is essential for any great fighting game. So this is an area where we're investing big. I'm going to turn it over to Tony, and he'll walk you through some of our networking foundations. Netcode has been a top of mind topic in the FGC for the past year, especially since we haven't been able to gather for live events. For Project L, we've designed our entire networking stack to deliver the same highly responsive gameplay that you'd get playing offline. Of course, this starts by using rollback networking at the core. Rollback does a great job of maintaining a consistent low input delay across a wide range of pings. We've also developed a new networking model that enhances the benefits of rollback with the core technology developed by other games at Riot. <laughs> we'll route network traffic between players through Riot Direct, our internal network already being used to minimize latency in League of Legends and Valorant. <laughs> We're also actively managing a player's connection to their opponent to ensure a consistent, fair play experience. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. And if someone rage quits in the middle of a match, our netcode will determine who should win and who should be penalized. We're taking netplay very seriously for Project mm. L. It's the primary way that we play test the game internally. Yeah, see, call of and we're working harus, every day to make sure it's in top shape for the eventual release. Harus, we hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. Before we go, uh, uh, I want to remind you that our game is still in R&D. We're happy with how core combat is shaping up, but there's still a ton of work to do. Thanks so much for your patience while we take our time to make sure that we get this right. So that's all for now. Last time we spoke, Project Gull went dark afterwards. But this time, we'll do our best to keep in touch when we have major news to share. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Oke, berarti Project L ini masih early development ya. Jadi masih awal-awal ya. Masih mungkin mulai masih karakter recent ya. Soalnya Fast Team Game itu kan karakter recent sih menurutku yang agak lama menurutku. Soalnya kan pasti per karakter mesti move-nya harus berbeda kan apalagi kayak game-game gini kan kombonya bakal beda contohnya kayak si Eko aja sih kayak gini kan si Eko dia dipasin dengan uh, itu juga ya dari game League of Legends ya kan dia mainnya uh, time gitu kan ini dia bisa balik dia bisa balik waktu membalikan waktu gitu kan itu langsung balik itu kan jadi kayaknya tuh harus uh, gimana ya uh, gembikin akurat sama League of Legends gitu, kayak Darius tadi gitu kan, si Darius juga kan mainnya dia uh, kalau di LoL kan uh, narik-narik pakai kapaknya gitu, gitu kan, narik kapaknya ataupun nge-slam nge gitu pakai kapaknya juga di sini diliatin juga gitu ya, di pas di awal-awal sebelum nah ini sebelum ngebahas Echo gitu kan, nah, One of the of fighting games seen top itu players yang membuat uh, sebagai pemain LoL ataupun kita sebagai pemain LoL itu seru gitu main ini nih karena ya karakternya tuh cocok banget dengan game uh, League of Legends apa di di uh, di lore ceritanya gitu ya. Steadily increasing difficulty curve to get you. Kayak Ari gitu tadi. Kayak Ari juga nanti bisa nge-charge kan. Harusnya. It's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. Ya, dan ini kayaknya juga mainnya main combo ya. Jadi kayak dilihatin sih yang pas bagian dari Rus ya. That said Project L. Nah, ini dari Rus upper hand head button follow up S1 kemungkinan ini dia S1 apa? In fighting games. Bentar kalau ba, bentar kalau di sini. To create new iconic moments for many years to come. Terus tapi terus ada skill apa? Ultimate skillnya juga ya. Jadi dilihat kayak gitu si Ari tadi kal si Darius juga ada yang yang terbang terbang kini kayak kayak punya nya siapa Ryu? Ryu di apa sih namanya tu? Bukan Tekken, King of Fighter, bukan King of Fighter, Street Fighter. Nah, kena perhen. Kayaknya tu S ini Uh, S tuh biasanya kayak itu ya uh, apa ya nggak tahu sih kemungkinan kalau warna hijau tuh biasanya yang fast ya pukulan ini sih kayaknya harusnya tinju ya. I know that a lot of you have strong... Nih bawah bawah ti apa bawah tinju dia narik ke atas gitu. About narik at ke atas ke bawah gitu kan. Nah kayak gitu. Jadi ini mainnya kan combo-combo juga nanti Eko kayaknya harusnya juga combo juga sih kayak 
mau ngeluarin time buat apa time bombnya ataupun biar bisa balik lagi uh, ke waktu sebelumnya kayaknya juga harus ada kobonya sih itu ataupun ada yes. pencetannya ini upper hand ini kayaknya yang narik For ya project L, oh pakai narik tuh sih <laughs> pakai kepala ya tuh S tuh kayaknya ya S tuh kayaknya mukul deh mukul yang biasa So yes, we are making it easier to jump in with a new character and learn their basic kit. That said, we absolutely believe in rewarding the time you spend going deep on a character and providing opportunities for you to showcase your high-end mastery. One of the delights of fighting games is seeing top players move and fight in a way that's inspiring and distinct from lesser players. Dan di sini ingat ya kita ada tim tim mes gitu. We want to set that aspirational summit. About the steadily increasing difficulty curve. Terus di selendang gitu. This is nebak. Kayaknya mantep banget sih ini supaya ini gue nggak tunggu juga sih ini project L kalau keluar. Kini kita harus beli lah ya buat nyobain. Dan kemungkinan juga bakal ada rangnya sih ini. Gitu. Jadi menurut kalian gimana sih project L ini? Apa kalau kalian tertarik dengan game Riot baru ini? Gamenya dari Riot ya. Ini bukan Riot Force ya, berarti Riot Game. Kalau Riot Game berarti yang ngurusin sendiri dari Riotnya langsung gitu. Kalau Riot Force itu uh, publisher ya. Jadi kayak Riot Force tuh punya. Ya, jadi kayak Riot Game tuh punya cerita. Nah ceritanya itu dikerjain sama developer game lainnya. Nah developer game lainnya itu nanti publishernya lewat Riot Force. Kalau Riot Game sendiri tuh Uh, yang ngerjain berarti dari tim Riot Gamesnya sendiri gitu. Jadi ini langsung dari Riot Gamesnya sendiri jadi gitu. Nah ini kita nggak tahu sih ini bakal berbayar atau enggak ya. Kemungkinan jangan-jangan enggak. Kayaknya enggak dari kalau game yang dari Riot Games sendiri kayaknya enggak yang enggak ada yang berbayar ya. Yang berbayar apa? TFT enggak berbayar. LOL juga enggak berbayar. Uh, LOL juga enggak kan. Terus Valorant juga enggak. Berarti kalau misalnya enggak berbayar, berarti champion ini harusnya... Grinding ya. Jadi kita 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 belum tahu. Kemungkinan tu tahun depan sih ya. Kita tahu apa projek kita tu berbayar atau enggak gitu. Kalau menurutku semoga aja apa ya. Enggak berbayar sih. Eh berbayar sih biar enggak terlalu grinding. Gitu kalau fighting game enaknya enggak grinding sih menurutku. Itu kalau menurut kalian gimana? Menurut kalian projek kali ini. Kalian pengen berbayar atau enggak? Kalau misal enggak berbayar, kayaknya bisa masuk ke mobile. Tapi enggak tahu itu sulit atau enggak ya. <laughs> kalau masuk ke mobile. Tapi menurut kalau fighting game banyak kan berbayar sih. Dan soalnya fighting game yang agak grinding. Tapi kita enggak tahu sih. Kita tunggu aja uh, di 2020. Tapi menurut kalian gimana? Kalian pengen project kali ini berbayar atau free to play gitu. Sampai di sini aja. Terima kasih yang udah nonton. Jangan lupa untuk di like dan subscribe. Coba tulis tadi ya, apa ini kalian tentang project L ini, dan kalian pengen project L ini berbayar atau enggak gitu. Sampai di sini, sampai ketemu lagi di konten selanjutnya, ataupun live stream selanjutnya. Bye-bye.